As soon as you've, as you've chosen your photo and opened it up in Photoshop, you are going to duplicate the background layer. Um, turn off the original layer by clicking on the eye. We're going to be using the pen tool for this, so make sure your pen tool settings are on shape. The stroke around one. And as soon as you click a point, make sure that it creates that new shape layer. The first thing that I recommend you do for any of the portraits that you choose um, is just go around and create a layer for all of the skin that you see in the face and on the neck. And we're just doing this to sort of like create like a background layer for the skin. I'm going to turn on the opacity. And we'll continue clicking. Um, again, you should do a better job than me. I'm just going super fast to make this video shorter. Um, when you get up here to the hair, just, just click around it. Um, so again, make sure that you're including all of the skin. Um, these, these like hair strands that you see are going to go on a separate, like more, more detailed hair layer. Um, so we're just going to cover those up for now. Um, when you've finished, double click right here to access the color picker. Um, choose, a, choose like a skin color on the face. I'm going to bring the opacity back up so we can see it. And I'm going to um, take off the stroke outline by clicking zero up here. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to rename this um, like skin outline. And I'm going to do that again with the clothes. Um, so this time I'm just going to outline all of her clothes. Um, and again, this is just to sort of like create a outline um, of all the clothes that we can then put details on top of. on the option key. Okay. Um, and same thing again, double click right here to access the color picker, choose a color on her clothes, click OK, change the opacity to 100, rename that layer, close outline, and then bring the stroke down to zero point. Okay, um, so now we see this outline of all of the skin. We see an outline of all the clothes. The next step I would do is do the same thing for the hair as well. For this assignment, we want the eyes, nose, mouth, and skin to look really realistic. And to do that for each of these things, we add highlights and shadows and appropriate colors. Um, so for example, on the nose, we want like, like the normal skin color, we want a highlight that's really light white, and we want to add a shadow. And that helps it make, look, that, that helps it, make it look realistic and three-dimensional. Um, so I'm going to use the pen tool again. I, I'm just going to demonstrate how to do the nose. Um, and when you're doing this, don't just like draw a nose that you think you see really follow along where you see the highlights and shadows. I see a really dark shadow in the nostril, so I'm going to do that first. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do our same thing, turn on the opacity, select the real color of it, turn up the opacity, rename it nostril, um, and bring down the stroke. Okay, uh, I'm going to do that again for this other nose shadow that I see right here. Option key, bring that in. Okay, option key, bring that in again. And, okay, um, same thing, I will turn on the opacity. Choose the real color, uh, rename this like nose shadow, I guess, um, and change the stroke to zero points. Okay, 
Um, now I'm going to do that for the highlight. And for the highlight, if it's just like, like a really, really small dot, um, like right here for the nose and also for the eyes, I usually just zoom in really far and I, I don't try to like draw a circle. I, I usually just do like, like a small triangle um, and that, that gets the same effect. Uh, I'm going to turn on the opacity, choose the right color, white. Um, I'm going to turn off the stroke and I will rename that nose highlight. and then turn up the opacity so we can see that again. Okay, um, and then here's where you just sort of have to be a little artistic and creative. Um, I'm not gonna outline the entire nose because that would just look a little weird. Um, so instead, what I'm just gonna do for this particular photo is just sort of do like, like a really small like sliver of an outline over here. just so we're sort of able to see where exactly her nose ends on the other side. I just want this to be really, oh no, I want this to be like really small. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, um, same thing here. I will select my color of that. And again, for this, like, like I, I, like you need to be using the color picker and the eyedropper tool, um, but also use your artistic judgment. Um, if a color looks off, just just adjust it to make it look correct. Bring this, bring the stroke down. Um, turn the opacity back up, and I will rename this nose um, right line. Okay. Um, so now I am going to put all of these nose layers. I'm, I'm going to select them by holding down the shift key, select all my nose layers. I'm going to bring them into a new folder and I'm going to call this folder nose. I'm going to do the same thing, um, for this also. I'm, I'm going to create a new folder up here, uh, that that's called skin. And I'm going to create a folder with this that's called clothes. Um, so anytime I create details on my clothes, I'm going to put put I, I'm going to drag that shape layer into the clothes folder. Anytime I add details onto the skin, I'm going to drag those layers onto the skin folder. So I'm going to bring the nose into the skin folder, um, and that looks good. I'm going to turn this back on. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Um, what you would then do from here is continue with the eyes. If the colors look weird, um, go back, make them look better. Um, and eventually, um, this is what it's going to look like. Um, so what you guys can see here um, is that I have all of my layers in one folder called portrait. Um, within this folder, I have all of these other folders for different parts of the face. Um, and inside, for example, inside of this right eye folder, we can see all of the renamed layers that I used for the eye. And I'm able to really easily just like see what things look like without the eye. I can also just, just take off one part of that individually as well. So if I, if I want to see it without the nose, I can just click here and all of the nose layers disappear. Um, I'm, I'm going to require you guys to organize your stuff like this. It's just going to make this a million times easier for you. For the background, um, the background shouldn't just be the original photo. Um, the background should either just be a solid color or you're welcome to, to do the background as well using the pen tool. To create the solid background, just drag a rectangle. Um, Change the color right here, make the rectangle whatever color you want, and then make sure that that rectangle is underneath all of your face layers. Okay. Um, and then the last thing, um, we, we don't want to have any holes in our picture that we're hiding with the original photo. Um, so before you turn this in, please turn off the background copy. So we, we don't want to have um, 
any part of the original picture in our final product. And when you're done, save it. Um, save it as a JPEG and turn it in.